All right, so the team's been hard at work for the past week or so now, working on a Batman cowl, complete with a hollow lens inside to give you extra Batman detective abilities when you're fighting crime. You're gonna be able to do facial recognition and pick criminals out of basically a lineup. You can just look at a crowd of people and bam, you can see who's a, a target, basically. From the mechanical side, they've got the helmet 3D printed already, and we're trying to go for an extra goal. We're actually gonna put microphones in the ears, and we're gonna try and make them react to sounds, so the ears will actually rotate towards the loudest noise. And then, throw the hollow lens in, and we'll be done. I did not get my computer fixed, but talked to HP support, they gave me, or they had me do a few things to try and solve the problem. I needed space for an update to build the HoloLens. I started deleting files and everything broke. So what I really wanna do is get all my data off my laptop because I really can't lose it. So that's like my top priority. And then reinstall the operating system, which is gonna basically factory reset the computer. It's pretty much the only option now. Right now, um, I was just working on the UI. Uh, he's working on the keyword recognizer so that we can initiate particular functions while we say something. That will be, yeah, we'll just come together and finish everything tomorrow. You will have to stand in front of him for 15 seconds to see something. <laughs> or just wait for 10 seconds and go in front of him. Okay. It should be on the right side. Try to map your surroundings. Uh, you'll have to bloom. I don't even know what I was going to say. Then plus sign. I was gonna ask. There's no plus sense of white dot in his face. No, I know the, what the problem is right now is if the face detected is like second or third in five faces, it'll, it finds it and it rewrites it with the blank text. And if you go, if you look at him, it's gonna say another. I did update his criminal yeah. profile, by the way. Still tell me, oh, it's Jonathan, this is me standing in front of a window. <laughs> I need to act more natural. Yeah. I don't know how to act more natural. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Alexandre. Alexandre. Who's that? Who's Alexandre? Did you change him? I don't know. Who is no, that? I didn't change his name. Google this person. That's <laughs> weird though. I want to look uh, this up now. Andre Pata? That's Brazilian a soccer player. Professional soccer player. That's us right there. <laughs> that's exactly you. <laughs> it looks just like me. Oh my oh, god. Andre Pato, wow. soccer star. <laughs> Mole's bot was awesome enough to send us this amazing 3D printer. We just kind of left this thing going all night. This is the very first thing that we printed on it, and it looks absolutely amazing. So, uh, all right. I think we're ready to take it off. Let's see what they look like on the helmet. So I think we're only gonna have them rotate like 15 degrees each. Just like that. And that. Because basically there's this boss here off the uh, servo stops it from going any further. So that's something. All right, two more. Um, Dusty, yeah. do you want to drill a hole and mount microphones? Sure. So right now we're adding magnet uh, attachment points so the two halves of the helmet will actually stick together nicely. We use the 3D printer to print out little brackets that the magnets can sit in. Um, this is so we can use super glue to glue it all on and it'll be nice and strong like that. So next step is gluing the other halves of these onto this one. We'll see if three is enough. We'll probably have to go up to at least five. And then we should have a strong clasp to uh, attach the helmet together. So after we glue the magnets on, then we should be ready to paint this and hopefully have it looking pretty cool for tomorrow. So we have, um, we have the face recognition image will show up on the right side of the screen. So whoever I'm looking at, his face or her face should be there. Then how many people I'm looking at right now or how many faces are there in the frame. Then um, what exactly this device is looking at, that description will be there. Then the weather data will be there and on top of it uh, will be the Alfred communication. So I, uh, I put everyone's pictures on uh, one sheet so that I can visualize using the database. And then this stuff is all gonna get translated into code and then uploaded to the criminal database, which will hopefully take someone's picture, send it to the server, identify them, and then return this formatted information. Real quick, can I, I put padding on the bottom here, so. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Ugh, there's not enough padding to make this. 
That was good. Oh, I thought you were done. I'm sorry. It's not terribly uncomfortable. Okay, so there's the inside of the helmet. This side, probably gonna add maybe a little bit more up by the nose, but other than that, should be all right. We're having some issues. <laughs> I, I tried to use the microphones on both the Feather and the Uno, and I was getting no signal from either one. All right, well, can we at least get the servos working so the ears can uh, rotate around? Yep. Facial recognition will work on me now. Quite a costume. I have less so. makeup on. What do you mean? I am poison ivy. Uh, yes. Or are you? I don't know. Let's find out. <laughs> recognize my face. Let's see how this goes. I think it should recognize you this time. <gasps> Fingers crossed, guys. Oh. I don't see anything. See after, after it's like booted up the first time and it like has everything going, then it won't be so slow to recognize. Yeah, it. yeah it'll be three. Okay. It'll be three seconds after everything is done. So, BG, are you seeing in real time like what it's reading? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, I can see it's like a woman in red hair looking at the camera. Yeah. This is my hair. I don't wear. I uploaded a picture. It's grabbing a picture of someone in the background. <laughs> yeah. Can we just like Do you move come? her? Yeah, right somewhere here. Or? Zero faces found, but it says a woman with red hair looking at the camera. So. Biological woman. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> yep, I see Shay Ryan the chameleon. <laughs> ah! It only took like forever. So okay. We have that working, we have the translation working. Yeah, it's not detecting voice for some reason. Um, and we've been not able to work because of his laptop was broken. I feel like every week one team is in trouble, so I don't know who's gonna be this week, <laughs> but I'm here for this. We have um, vision to vision, work, um, okay. so text to uh, so speech text is working. Text to speech yeah. we got. And uh, we also have an application for Alfred. And Alfred is going to be an app? So this part is ready, there's server ready already. Uh, it's completely working. We just have to connect it with the device. Um, so you like swipe up and be like, Alfred, yeah, just guess select, what? Yeah, and then there's a real-time server running for all this. So <gasps> oh. whenever I say something, you can see that the green thing or it changes. So we have the ability to contact the Batcave. Mm -hmm. You know what contact the Batcave means? <laughs> that means pizza! <laughs> Do you have ears yet? I do. I do. We have three sizes of ears even. Two larges. Medium. I don't know what you, how you want to display them. Oh no, we just have to figure out which size fits. Guys, this is like Cinderella's shoe. <laughs> Here for that. So that's the size we're thinking. Yeah. The medium ones. I think that works. So now we're just, we've already attached the servos and we're just attaching the servo connector plate to this so you can pop the ears on and off. And we decide, I know you, yesterday you guys were talking about like a chrome finish or silver or something. Oh yeah, we did. What are you guys thinking? We're going for a metal look. Ooh. We got there. Oh, I like this. So do we put this one on first and then we're gonna like decorate it with that one? Exactly. I know how spray paint works. <laughs> also and update. Go, yes. We have a little. Ah! This will 100% go through walls and everything. Or is this not oh. the weapon? This is just the decoration. This is just the just this decoration. Is the... <laughs> Guys, this looks like all the bats at my house. <laughs> We're going for a realistic. It's foam! <laughs> that didn't work. And now I am. <laughs> working on programming this guy. Did you hear about the, the microphone thing that we're trying to do with the ears? Well, I mean, they were gonna like be able to like listen, right? Yes, but we're actually going to try and make the ears turn automatically. So we're trying to figure out how to do that. But this software mm -hmm. is not the same company that makes this board. It's just taking a year to upload. Having terrible luck with this. Oh, okay. So they're not, so they're not communicating. communicating properly. So I'm trying to figure out a way to get seems, around that. Seems like a running theme tonight. Wait, who's who's I'm gonna be like the, the very first test subject of the helmet? It will be me. It, it was be? it was made to my dimensions. And we know the hollow lens is gonna fit in here with its real visiony part. No. No. <laughs> what? Oh, it theoretically fits because that's how we made it. But okay. You know, you never know. Put it on your head, and I'll just hold this up. I'm so nervous because this looks yeah this like is, it's so much more than I thought. This is kind of like the moment of truth right here. Hey. Oh, okay. There we go. That, yes. that fits nicely. It's kind of like digging into my neck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, let's take this off. Well, it's not yeah. the prettiest of the Batmans. Yeah. Here we have a, a few challenges ahead. Okay. Yeah. Cool. <sighs> okay. Well, good luck. Let me know if you guys see anything. I might bring some hot pink spray paint by just because.
So we have everything on this board working except just this box. We've actually had a lot of problems with speech dictation recognition. Um, I don't know how possible it would be because we never got the original speech stuff working on the HoloLens. I wish I was a little bit more familiar with the Yeah, system. this can be more user-friendly development yeah. process. Um, like just like iOS or Android, it's super easy. This is yeah. complicated for nothing. And uh, not knowing this very well and then getting an error in Unity was a Unity internal error. And it ended up that if I built it and put it on the HoloLens, it would have worked. But because I didn't know it so well, like, I attributed it to the HoloLens, but it was actually Unity. We just wasted, I think, first two, three days trying to, like, have third-party SDKs working. And then in the end, we had to write it by ourselves. This is so messed up. Yeah, um, why does this look so weird? What'd you do? Uh, yeah, it just kind of fell on the ground, broke. It fell, it chipped. Guys, <laughs> you guys. Uh, is it freeze? It's gone. I broke the program. Guys, where's James? Where's the Hacksman? It looks like Batman's cowl is finally coming together, and I am so excited about all the progress we've made. But we're still not done. If you want to see the final product, make sure you like and subscribe. Hit that bell to turn on notifications. And I can't wait to show you the final Batman cowl. See you then.